So we had the ID TechX, and the, who are you? Hi, I'm Robert Massey, the founder of Astrolabe Analytics out of Seattle, Washington. So uh, you say it does uh, battery R&D analytics, or what is it? What do you do? Right, right. So step one is what we're providing um, uh, workflow tools to help my fellow battery scientists and engineers take the data that they're generating from their test equipment and turn that into the meaningful plots and information that helps them guide product development so that we can develop better batteries faster. So, is this part of your product? Right, so uh, that would be an example of one of the types of uh, figures and plots that uh, battery scientists would care about as you are going through and uh, taking a look at the different types of degradation modes or other things like that associated with um, uh, battery failure. Uh, do, do you measure stuff that has to do with a, a, a lifetime, uh, what's called a... Uh, sometimes the batteries get worse over time. Is it stuff right, like that? Right, right, right. So, uh, step one is we're just looking at the raw data coming off of these uh, pieces of test equipment. Um, as we develop this platform, our goal is longer term is to be developing more sophisticated uh, data science models uh, for battery data science more broadly. Like the cycle analysis and check how good they stay, how long they stay good and stuff right, like that? Right, right. Cycling performance, different things like that. Yep. And. Uh, what else is important to measure in batteries? And it's uh, just a bunch of people working with lithium-ion, or is other types of batteries too? Yeah. Uh, well, as far as our software is concerned, it's all time, voltage, current, temperature data, things like that. So uh, we can work with data from uh, capacitors, from lithium-ion batteries, lead acid, could be zinc, or any of the other types of um, new up-and-coming technologies that are uh, getting more and more traction these days. So why is your uh, solution very special? Yeah. So. Uh, Part of the specialness is the fact that us battery folks, we are um, good at the chemistry and the science and engineering, but we're not necessarily very good software developers. So what ends up happening is uh, uh, a lot of time gets wasted on really boring data management chores. Uh, by virtue of being in Seattle, there's tons of software development talent out there, and uh, one of the main innovations, if you will, has been getting the uh, interplay between the people who know batteries and the people who know software development. So people who know batteries, are there some in Seattle? Yeah. Uh, Why? Would... Why are they in Seattle? They ju this is just Amazon, right? No, I'm joking. Right, right, Microsoft. Right, right, right. What else? Uh, I mean, uh, like, it's for the EV market or uh, consumer electronics? Or what is it? Right. So yeah. um, uh, the University of Washington has been uh, benefiting from uh, uh, fundamental investments in battery science more broadly with the Clean Energy Institute and folks like that. But uh, yeah, there's certainly lots of interest from companies developing new consumer electronics, uh, new drones, new, new, um, new products that either enable or uh, are powered by battery technology. Um, so you're a startup? Yep, we are an early stage startup founded in June of this year. And uh, what's happening? What's the latest? What's are you? The latest? Uh, do you have some customers? Yeah, we got our first customer revenue uh, a couple weeks back, so that was a great milestone for us. We are also uh, working on some pilot projects with um, uh, the next handful of other um, early stage, uh, early stage, early adopters that we're excited to be working on. So they're excited to work with you? Yeah. yeah. Because they've been looking for this and hasn't been there, or what? Yeah, yeah. There's lots of uh, different ways of um, cobbling things together that our early adopters have been struggling with, but they don't really have that uh, in-house capability or core competency around software development and IT more broadly. So do you already have some feature requests and like to-do lists and stuff you want to add? Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty long list. There's a bunch of different things that we want to be uh, taking care of, but uh, yeah, one of the challenges we're having right now is prioritizing what are the next most valuable things that we'll be implementing. So what's your business model? Yeah, uh, right How now it's... People pay a license for this solution? Right, that's where we want to be getting to. Uh, in the interim, we're doing some consulting style projects where we're uh, trying to get revenue in the door with these early, uh, early adopters. And uh, the vision is to be developing a, a full-scale software as a service solution that we'll be licensing out to folks in the near future. So uh, how's it been here, the ID TechX? Yeah, it's how's been it, great. How's it been the show? Yeah, it's certainly given us a lot more, um, uh, a lot more, uh, a wider view of the industry than we'd otherwise be able to, to be getting advantage of um, without this type of platform at uh, the startup launchpad. There's a lot of stuff happening with batteries, right? It's kind of like a, one of the most important things in the world, right? You want to store power and use it later. Right, right. So lots of stuff happening. It's, Right. The EV is huge. It's going to be taking over the world in a few years, right? That's exactly right. Yep. So you're going to be busy? Uh, we'll be very busy, hopefully. Uh, lots of opportunities out there for us to help accelerate battery innovation moving forward.